Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to map any location using Google Maps and storing that location in your Access database. And then with one click, you can have Google Maps pop up to right where that location is stored. Cecil, a Platinum member, writes, I am looking to build a database for my local cemeteries. They don't have any maps or any way to tell you where someone is buried. I have looked online for software or something that I could customize to fit what I'm doing. It does not exist. What can I do? Well, you're right, Cecil. A lot of the times, a cemetery might give you a plot number or some kind of a street location inside their cemetery, but you're right. It'd be nice if you could simply save a pin to exactly where someone's grave is located. So I actually prefer using Google Maps to do this. And basically, all you have to do is find the exact location on the map that you want and then store a pin in your database to where Google Maps says that pin is. So for example, here I am, I live in Fort Myers, so let's find a spot in Fort Myers. Let's zoom into this Fort Myers Country Club here. Okay, and let's say I want to drop a pin to exactly this sand trap here, let's say. Okay, and if you want an even better image, just click on the satellite box down there. That'll show you the actual satellite. All right, now as I click, you can see that a little pin pops up. All right, so let me zoom in some more here. Let's say I want to drop a pin right on this bunker right here. So click. Now notice this little window popped up right down here. That's the exact latitude and longitude of that pin. If you click on that, your address bar updates, okay? With, it says maps, place, and then the exact latitude and longitude. All right, and it stores some other information like the zoom level. All right, we can slide that, collapse that. So it'll store, notice when I zoom in, it changes right? It changes the width of my zoom level. All right, so you can get it exactly the way you want it right there on that pin. Okay, now this is what you want to store in your access database. Yeah, you could store the latitude and longitude and all that separately, but just save the whole thing. Save the whole link. All right, Google hasn't updated this in a very, very, very long time. All right, so I don't see them changing anytime soon. So I'm going to take that and drop this on my notepad. All right, so there's notepad. I'm going to paste that in there. Let me turn word wrap on here so you can see the whole thing. All right, that's what it looks like. That's the exact location of that pin. And you can see you can get in pretty close detail-wise. So if you're doing individual plots inside of a cemetery, this is the best way to do it. All right, you got the, the latitude and longitude right, right down to the foot. So how do we store this information in our Access database? Well, it's simple. This could be longer than 255 characters, so I'm going to put it in a standard long text field. All right, here's my standard database template that I use for class. Let me put that right there. Now I'm going to go in my customer table and I'm going to add right here a uh, location. I don't think that's a reserved word. So we're going to make that long text. That means it can be pretty much as long as you want to. It may be over 255 characters, so I'm not going to worry about storing it in a small, a short text field. All right, let's close that up and let's add that as a field on my customer form. So right click design and I'm just going to grab my notes field here, copy and paste it. Slide it down here. We don't have to make it super big in the form. All right, right there. And I'm going to change this to say location. Change the control source here to location. All right, copy that, paste it. All right, so I've made a box here where I can put that location. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to my notepad and I'm going to copy this whole thing. Make sure you don't save that with line breaks in it. See how you want to make sure that's one continuous link. In fact, don't use note. I just use Notepad because I was teaching you, you know, how to save it. Copy it right from Google Maps address bar and paste it right in that box there. You don't want any line breaks in there. Okay. Now, how do I open this? Well, you can open this with one click of a button. Yes, Access has a hyperlink data type. I don't like using it. You can actually make fields called hyperlinks. Uh, no, they don't work right. I never have liked them. I'll just use plain text and use this method to jump and open this hyperlink up. All right, it's real simple. It's one button with one line of code. All right, design view. I'm going to basically steal one of these other buttons here. Just copy and paste it, right? Just click on it, copy, paste, All right? Open location map all right like this and if you want i don't know put it over here whatever you want to do with it okay 
right click build event all right here's my code builder one line of code and it's real simple application dot follow hyperlink there it is space and then the address location that's it there are some other options in here right sub address meaning like a tag inside that page you know do you want a new window blah 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 just th these ad these options are all fine this is going to open up this hyperlink in your default web browser which for me is Google Chrome. I just use Microsoft Edge for teaching classes. All right, let's go back over to Access. I'm going to close this and reopen it. And let's see what we got. Open location map. Click. And look at that. It opened up my browser, put me in a new tab, and jumped me right to where that pin is, complete with an image. And yes, the fact that it's satellite view is saved in this hyperlink somewhere. <laughs> it's up in all this big address stuff. All right, somehow this code here tells exactly what you want to see. Okay, and that's how I would recommend if you're doing cemeteries and you want to store a pin to each individual plot, then I would definitely use this location option here. So Cecil, thank you. Cecil's a new Platinum member. He emailed me before I knew he was a member. And uh, you know, I gave him some brief information like how to use... Uh, I have a, a, pro, uh, a seminar called the Open Other Program Seminar where I teach you how to launch like Acrobat Writer and a Reader and, and Word and Excel, how to launch different applications. One of them is launching your web browser based on information in your Access Database. And of course, this is a very simple method you can use as well. But this, I think, works just fine for what you're doing. The only thing is there's a little bit of a manual back and forth because you got to copy this stuff yourself. There's no... Yes, you can. There's a there's a hyperlink control that you can actually put inside of Access, but I don't like it because when it opens up, unless you make it a really big window, you're going to have all this other stuff on the screen. I've tried it. I played with it, and I would rather just open up the browser, copy this, and paste it myself. There, is there an automated way to do it? Yeah, but it involves a lot of code. <laughs> so I, I say this is the simplest method to do it. Interested in learning more about mapping and Google Maps and Access? In the extended cut edition for members, I show you how to open a map to any address in your database. If you got an address field or fields, I will show you how to open up Google Maps directly to that address. And you can drop that button on any form in your database. How do you become a member? Well, just click on that join button down below the video. You get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos if you're a silver member and up live video and chat sessions, and lots of other perks. There's a big list of all the different supporter level types. Thank you for watching, and of course, videos like this will always be free. I'm going to keep making these free tech help videos as long as I can. Make sure you like this video and drop me a comment. And of course, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell, ring the bell icon. That way you'll get notifications whenever I release new videos. Check down below the video window for more links and resources and other stuff. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding that. There's a little tiny show more link there. If you have not yet tried my Access Level 1 course, try it right now. It's free. It's three hours long. You can find it on my website or on YouTube. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just a dollar, and that's free for members as well. If you want to see your question answered in a video like this, go to my Tech Help page and drop it there. Also, feel free to check out my Access Forum. You can always drop me an email if you want to, but I prefer you leave a comment on my website. There's all my other cool stuff. All these links will be down below, by the way. So thanks a lot. I hope you learned something today, and we'll see you next time.